Hello! Today I'll show you how to do a simple Audi oscillator on a breadboard. The type of uh, oscillator we'll use is called an RC phase shift oscillator. And the idea behind this oscillator is that you have an amplifier and from the output of this amplifier you pass the signal through three sections of RC components. And the idea here is that for a specific frequency the phase shift in, the, in each RC section should be 60 degrees. This means that the total phase shift coming out of these three RC sections would be 180 degrees. And then you take this signal and you input it into the input of the amplifier again. And if you use an inverting amplifier, then the total phase shift would be 180 degrees plus 180 degrees from the amplifier, so a total phase shift of 360 degrees. This means that any noise in the circuit, and there will always be noise in the circuit, it will be amplified and then it will be phase shifted so that we have a positive feedback where it's amplified again. And since this happens only at a specific frequency, where the phase shift uh, is exactly 180 degrees here, we will get a, a nice sine wave that we can listen to in the loudspeaker. We'll take the output here uh, at the output of the amplifier and we'll have a DC blocking capacitor and then we'll have an amplifier and we'll pass the signal to a loudspeaker. Now there's a simple equation that we can use to calculate the uh, frequency of oscillation. So the frequency is approximately equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square, square root of 6 times RC. So for those of you who are interested in these details, uh, specifically where this factor square root of 6 comes from, I will leave some useful references down below. So the audio range is uh, 250 hertz to 10,000 hertz. And uh, in this example here, we will use 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and we'll use 27 nanofarad capacitors. This would give us uh, a um, frequency of roughly 500 hertz, which is something that you should be able to hear uh, in, the, in the loudspeaker. Now, interestingly, this uh, equation is only approximate and what happens in practice is that this DC blocking capacitor here uh, it will also affect the resonant frequency as you can listen to here. Now this is how it's implemented on the breadboard. So in black here we can see a common emitter amplifier. So I made a video recently explaining how this common emitter amplifier works. So you have these four resistors here and you have an input and you have an output. This capacitor is also part of the amplifier. From the output we have these three RC sections which we recognize from before. And this is now passed into the input of this um, common emitter amplifier, which is an inverting amplifier used with a single NPM transistor. So um, if you want more details on this uh, common emitter amplifier, uh, I'll leave a link below to the, to the other video explaining that a bit more in detail. And now from the output, uh, we have this DC blocking capacitor and then we pass this into the input of another identical common emitter amplifier, which is uh, in blue. From the output of this one, we have the loudspeaker. So we have uh, all the component values uh, here on this paper. Now, the, on the breadboard, you have the transistor here for the first uh, amplifier uh, and you have these four resistors associated with that one. Also, this capacitor here is the same capacitor that's down here. 
Here you have the DC blocking capacitor uh, on the output. Here you have the three capacitors uh, shown here. And then you have the three resistors here. The input or the feedback is taken now after this resistor, taken all the way back to the base of the transistor. And then after the DC blocking capacitor, the output of this oscillator is taken now to this second board. On this second board is where we have this uh, amplifier, which amplifies the signal before passing it into the speaker. Now, if we connect the 9 volt battery, we can listen to it. Thank you for watching.